We're at BMW of Appleton. Uh, this is a uh, kind of an auto mall area where there is a lot of other car lots or a lot of other brands. Uh, looks relatively full. Definitely a selection. Too deep, they got cars parked on the grass. So there is uh, definitely some BMWs available. The, the row parked in the grass makes me think that they are uh, a bit on the overstock. Uh, then it kind of runs into the uh, Mercedes-Benz area. Although you see uh, it's BMWs all the way down here also. Sale of these may be affected by the uh, interest rates. That is a 2025 that is already marked down. Not marked down a lot. Over a hundred thousand for an SUV. It's a little bit expensive. Not that anyone ever uh, came to BMW looking for a bargain. Looks like the Mercedes side has uh, less of the parking. Because the BMWs come all the way down to here before the uh, Mercedes start. Let's see on the uh, Mercedes, they are also working down. That's a 2024 though. Let's see if they have any 2025s. I think you can see the uh, hang tag in the windows. Wow, what I'm seeing is all 2024s. This lot even has some sprinters. I just can't get over 100,000 for an SUV though. Never paid over 100,000 for a house, but don't exactly live in a metro area either. Uh, around here they have the uh, electric vans for uh, Amazon delivery packages. So I always picture people buying these to contract with Amazon, but they've got their whole fleet. The Mercedes side has got quite a bit though also. Must be some used ones mixed in here somewhere, but not sure where those are. Oh yeah, this is used. 2020. Well, that's 2024. It's a very nice car, guys. Nine thousand miles. But then BMW is all the way down here again. Odd that the BMW inventory is so much more than the uh, Mercedes inventory. Looks like the hold. The uh, BMW has always had such a good margin on there. Oh, see, that's a used one. 33. I think a lot of the manufacturers are trying to, there's a hold. Uh, copy some of BMW's techniques with the way they're able to bring their margins up. Which is what's led Stellantis into such trouble with uh, not being able to sell as many of their vehicles as they have. It's basically Berg Bergstrom Auto Mall. 106000 for that one. Well, they've got some electric options with BMW. Kind of a large area here trying to uh, get some shots of specific cars. Let's see what they have by the front door. It's Sunday, so I shouldn't be bothering anybody. 124,000. That's just crazy. Not even at the Rolls Royce dealer, you know what I mean? And that's electric. Suggested retail 135. I mean, nice sedan, but wow, is that a crazy price? Oh, well, that's a 2023. Well, so they are sitting on a 2023 brand new inventory because right here is one of them. So what's this really worth? Two model years old, brand new on the lot. 
trying to get over $100,000 for it. M4 BMW. It's kind of a burnt orange color. Convertible. Nice interior. Tiny back seat. X Drive. Eighteen miles per gallon. That kind of shows the difference with the uh, fuel economy. Um, some electric options can really reduce the amount of fuel you use. Opens your carbon footprint if nothing else. Some of the electric options don't exactly uh, save money because the purchase price is so much higher. And right now, fuel costs are dropping. It's under uh, three dollars a gallon here right now. So it's only three dollars a gallon. It's a little less incentive, but uh, a little less incentive to buy the fuel efficient. We are coming up on an election, so sometimes that's got something to do with it. See, 124, what is this? It looks relatively plain. Very dirty. GLS 580. Formatic, four wheel drive. Here you go, you should be able to see that sticker. Yeah, 126, 545. Yeah, fuel economy, 16 miles to the gallon. Four liter V8. It's a mild hybrid, but only getting 16 miles to the gallon. Must be some serious performance then. This guy be giving you something for that. See, this, this always amazes me. 56,000 for this one and 124,000 for that one. Both Mercedes SUVs. I mean, definitely some difference in options and engines and things, but uh, anytime you can buy two for the price of one, seems crazy. $135,000. Again, very nice. Kind of little tires. <laughs> LED headlights, molded mirrors. It's got the lighter interior, perforated leather, some shades in back, third row. But it's still just a just a car. And what is what is this gonna be worth in ten years? I'll laugh at the depreciation that some people are willing to take. Obviously, they've got more money to spend than I do, or more money to lose than I do. It's got some different rims. GLC 300. Very nice cars. Good price to point in Ah, coming back past the uh, row of sedans. So many manufacturers are really cutting back on their sedan production. It's like a little more of a mainstay. For Mercedes. You really can't get much for under 50 with many of the manufacturers now. I mean obviously we're in a luxury lot so it's going to be more expensive. Let's see this X6 M60i. Brakes are still shiny. Hard to see through the window tent. Looks like $94,000. Oh, there's a hang tag in it. All right, my roof. Oh, 106 with all the options. And the discount. Very nice. Crossover. This is that electric one. Made in Germany. The shadow is, is casting across all these. A little harder to uh, see what's going on. I've always liked the uh, sedans. Just less to get around. Although I think more and more like the uh, road construction is uh, really bad around here. A little bit of ground clearance would help. Turbo electrified. 72,000. It's a 2024. Actually, I didn't even notice any 2025s. Oh, this one is a 2025. 
So they do have some 2025s a lot. And uh, plenty of inventory though, it looks like. That's played mixed in. The green one must be sold. See, what's this purple one? 44,000. Oh, two series. Two thirty I extra I. Sharp with my book. Oh, my sharp. But there's a selection right now BMW, Bergstrom, uh, and uh, the Bergstrom BMW Mercedes-Benz in Appleton. Thank you.